Hello. Welcome to our West Fraser 60th birthday presentation of our Strachan LBL plant. The journey starts with logs being trucked in by contracted log haulers. They are then unloaded into the log yard by either a button top grapple machine or the 966 cat loader. The loader then places them onto the transfer deck of the bucking station. The bucking station is almost fully automated with movement of logs controlled by computer and photo eye interaction. Have you heard of wolves and cougars in that area? Are you sure? The logs are then loaded onto a conveyor which takes them to a debarker. The barker has five arms with sharp teeth on the ends to peel bark from logs. log exits the barker outfeed, it is kicked off onto a slasher deck. It is called the slasher deck because there are two saws on the deck to trim and cut logs into two eight foot pieces which are then now called peelers. then go on to another conveyor and are run through a scanner to determine their length and diameter. With their timing set by photo eyes, they are kicked into the peeler bins. After the peelers are kicked into the bins, they are scooped up by one of the two loaders working on the pad. They are then put into one of the 10 vats and given a hot shower for 12 hours to soften the bark to make for easier peeling in the lathe. Normally one loader looks after the bins and fills vats, while the other loader empties vats and fills the mill. When the peelers are done soaking, they are placed in the Roundup end feed. They are then carried up a jack ladder to the Roundup lathe which gets rid of any bark missed by the debarker and preps a log for the spinless lathe. Log is then transferred up another jack ladder up to the spinless lathe. The log is then fed into some rolls while a knife cuts into it and makes a long ribbon at a thickness of about an eighth of an inch.
three trays that carry the ribbons on down to the clipper. Each tray can handle up to a 15 inch log. The ribbons empty onto the clipper table where they are cut into 4 by 8 sheets. The clipper system also cuts out defects and reads moisture content for stacking purposes. Each bin on the stacker has a different moisture sort, which is very important when it comes time to run it through the dryer. There will be more on that later. Some of the ribbon that does not make it into the full 4 by 8 sheets are clipped into narrow pieces which are called random. These random sheets are pulled off of the green chain and put into carts to be sold to plywood plants. Any leftover pieces that are not quality random fall onto the waste conveyor and eventually get sent up through the chipper. The chipper is a nasty machine that chips up everything into small pieces One of the facts we at West Fraser are most proud of is our complete use of every log. From turning chips into pulp, or using the leftover cores from the peeling process in the wine industry as grape steaks, burning all other waste wood that has been run through another big wood smashing machine called the hog. The smashed up debris is fed into the energy plant and burned for fuel. They can also burn gas if need be. We are now on to the dryer. First of all, three lifts are put onto the dryer end feed. There are four different moisture sorts available. They are heavy sap, which is the highest moisture content, then sap, light sap, and finally heart. The average temperature we run the dryer at is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It will take an average of three and a half minutes for a sheet to go from in feed to out feed. Dried sheets are then run through a machine called the MetroGuard to determine the density or strength of each sheet. Then through another scanner that checks for moisture content. The 
This combination of strength and moisture content will determine if the sheet is sorted into a plywood grade or the breaded grades that we use which will make it to the LVL press. The lesser grades are sold to Alberta Plywood which has a plant in Edmonton and is also owned by West Fraser. We will now continue on to the press and explain how we turn veneer sheets into our world famous laminated veneer lumber, or LVL for short. The lifts of veneer are placed into the feeders in a certain order called a recipe, because we are essentially cooking the wood. The lifts are made up of a few different grades of veneer and the recipe will change depending on the grade or strain of the LVL we are making. The order and timing of sheets are controlled by computer. As the veneer travels down the line, it is run through a glue curtain that coats all the sheets except for the top face sheet. A little further down the line is the layup area, which overlaps all the sheets and lines them up to go into the press. By the time they reach the press, they are 15 layers thick. This is a continuous press, so that means the sheets are constantly coming down the line and overlapped. If the press is running well, it may not stop all shift. When the veneer enters the press, it passes through three 10 kilowatt microwaves that heat up the glue and bind the sheets together. Now the product is starting to resemble a board. As it goes through the press, it is compressed to the correct thickness with a pressure of 300 pounds per square inch that is supplied hydraulically. Depending on customer needs, the boards are cut into 60 foot on down to 20 foot boards. The press produces 3.6 million cubic meters of LBL annually. The product is transferred to the beam and header area by a big crane on a long trolley system. This crane is capable of lifting 20 tons. Now we are on to the final phase of the operation, called the beam and header. The crane transfers the lifts of LDL to the gang saw in feed deck. The lift is raised up on the hoist and fed into the gang saw. It's called the gang saw because there is more than one blade used, depending on the width the customer needs. After being cut, the boards are sent to the grading deck, where an employee watches for defects and can separate the good boards from the bad. The boards with defects will be cut down to a usable length later. The good boards are sent through a wax box that coats the exposed sides caused by the cutting of the gang saw. Also at this time, a grade stamp is automatically applied. The board arrives at the stacking operator when the employee does a final visual check for defects and to make sure the wax is applied properly. 
The boards are then stacked and are ready to go on to the strapper. The strapper operator measures the length of the boards and trims the boards to the proper length. Two employees then staple packaging wrap as well as product tags to the lift. The product tag will have the length, the width and the grade printed on it. The finished product is then unloaded off the outfeed deck by the shipping loader and either put into inventory or directly onto a waiting truck. After the truck is loaded and the driver applies the straps, the product hits the highway for numerous destinations across Canada and the United States. This concludes the West Fraser Strachan Mill 60th birthday presentation. I hope you now have a good understanding of our mail process. Thank you and goodbye.